ladies and gents, hello and welcome to ROG Pulse episode number four. My name is Jake Kalinsky, also known as Solid Jake GG, and we're talking about, well, just the power of having multiple displays and how that is becoming easier than ever. The Zephyrus Duo and some other really cool tools we have here. Guys, this week, it is indeed the Moon Festival. So everyone around the world, happy Moon Festival. We hope you guys are having a lovely time. Our headquarters are enjoying some time off with that. That's why we are joined here by the lovely Jeff Campman and Chris Barr. Guys, welcome back once again. And I totally left you guys muted, but you know what? That's fine. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Hey, thanks for having us. Perfect, perfect. So it's great. It's great to have a voice. <laughs> it is a nice privilege to have a voice. Guys, I, I just want to open the discussion by showing the, the juxtaposition of what it's what you know, someone like me is used to for a multi-monitor setup versus what kind of the future could be and how easy it could be. Cause I mean, I could tell you horror stories about bringing my desktop and two laptop or two displays to a LAN party and just to be able to have that second monitor for whatever purpose I want it for. Um, this is- And then you're that guy that brings two monitors to a LAN oh, party. Oh dude, I, I am that guy <laughs> and I always have been um, just because I can't live without that second display. You can see my actual streaming setup is is pretty pretty wild with the the triple monitor display and this is all needed for the kind of shows that I like to that I like to execute but you actually get that same effect here and my actual favorite use um, for the Zephyrus Duo you can see it's all consolidated this is as powerful as my setup sure the screens aren't as big but the the fun you know the execution the fundamentals they're all there I love being able to watch a stream on this and read Twitch chat here to me that's really cool Definitely. It's, it's the kind of thing like you, when you have a display, especially on that, the, the Zephyrus Duo, you've got that nice 4K display. I don't want to use any of that for something else. If I'm watching a video, if I'm playing a game, right? like if, anytime you have to cut into that, it's just like, it's taking away from, from all those beautiful pixels you can be, yep. you could be seeing. And uh, yeah, so we're just going to go in and we're going to chat about basically the power of that as a viewer, a creator or just another dude that likes to have a double setup for productivity, you name it. <laughs> and I, I mean, Chris, we can actually see behind you. So let, let's see it. Let's see the close up real quick. Just, just a preview, right. a sneak peek, close up. a sneak peek. Just a little, oh. little, little close up. Yeah. Oh, that's some fun. That's beautiful. It's, it's coming. It's let's coming. It. <laughs> so, okay. Let's kind of rewind and talk about what it was like setting up. Why would you have a second display? You know, especially back in the day with a CRT, did you guys ever have a multi-display setup with a CRT? I'm curious because if you guys never owned a CRT monitor before, they're beasts, they're they're heavy, <laughs> they take up a lot of space. We're talking four by three resolution. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, yeah uh, it, absolutely. It, uh, I think back in the day, my pr my first need to have a secondary monitor was when I was using like ICQ, AOL Instant Messenger to chat with my friends, you know, in school. <laughs> And it's like, I, I always had something else I was doing, whether it was, you know, a game I was playing or something. And I, I always wanted to be able to see those chat windows. Like, man, if I could just get a second monitor and I eventually, someone gifted it to me or something, just an old, old used one. And the first time I was able to set it on my desk and just move all those little things that I didn't need, my, my, probably my Winamp player and my AOL and ICQ windows. It's like, oh, okay, I can just always have those right there. I don't have to go searching for them. And then I can just focus on whatever I'm doing. And I was hooked. The minute I got one, I was like, I never want to just have to work on one display. <laughs> How about you, Jeff? Yeah, um, especially with uh, CRT displays, um, the aspect ratio is just, and resolutions, like honestly, um, you know, we think of 1920 by 1080 as the baseline now. Uh, for so much. And back in the day, uh, I think, you know, 1024 by 768 or even 1280 by 1024, if you were lucky, were um, mm. about the average. And then 1600 by 1200, if you were really lucky. Um, and so that didn't actually provide you a whole lot of space for putting stuff side by side and um, multitasking. So I was like, Again, it's a lot like you, Chris. Like I've got other things I want to keep at hand and just not 
have to switch among windows to get to and all that stuff. And I had, I think uh, I consolidated like th- or three CRTs onto one desk in college. It was crazy. <laughs> what was that desk a made sturdy, out of? Sturdy, yeah. sturdy desk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 It, it was, def- it was definitely, uh, it was definitely a good uh, solid wood desk. Um, <laughs> Gotta be. But yeah, and then, you know, but the technology has come so far since, like the bezels on those, you could land a plane on and, uh, you know, <laughs> it's, it wasn't much good for multi-monitor gaming. And now we have uh, LCD, widescreen LCDs, with super thin bezels and you put them next to each other and barely see the uh, transition. It's just... I think that's um, kind of the cool thing about when we look at right now. And this is kind of why we're talking about the multi-monitor or the multi-display setups, because... A, you look at a modern graphics card and that's going to have, what, four, five, maybe six mm-hmm. ports on it. We're talking like two HDMI, three display port on the, the RTX 30 series. And mm-hmm. that's really all designed so that you can have multiple devices. Yes, that could be your HMD for VR, taking up one of them. There's mm-hmm. there's a lot of different things that could go into that. But for the most part, that's going to be to have two to three monitors on your setup. I think most streamers on Twitch do have three monitors and we can talk about the different uses. So let's, let's go into that. Mm-hmm. Number one, um, sure. you were just discussing small bezels. That is not me. When you look at my setup <laughs> and we'll go there, these boys have, have thick bezels. I mean, this is a powerhouse monitor and these other displays mm-hmm. are a little bit older. Um, so they don't have that nice thin bezel. So I don't really get that same kind of effect where you're, you're gonna get uh, three even displays that are all 27 inches that allows you to feel mm-hmm. like you're in the cockpit playing a, a racing game, playing uh, Star Wars squadrons, whatever. I don't get that, mm-hmm. right? Chris, however, behind us does have a similar effect where all three displays are being used to achieve. Um, oh, they just shut off. Come on, technology. <laughs> they heard us talking about it. They're like, no, shh. <laughs> We're saving it for later. And, and those are all serving one purpose. They're all cohesive. Yep. Um, that's cool. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's. I I like lining it up just so that the the display here just just sits with that and Mm -hmm. you can't miss any of it it's just like there's there's just the tiniest little bit of a bezel right there and Mm -hmm. i i I forget it's there when i'm playing it's like it it just lines up so well i love it well yeah we're looking right at for a lot of things we're looking right at the zephyrus duo right now so let's just Mm kind of jump in and dive in deep as to what we're looking at here because if you've never seen this product before if you've never seen this laptop it might even from this angle you might be saying what am i looking at exactly there is a second yeah. display that is at an angle um below the main laptop display which is what 17 inches uh the, the duo yeah, has 15 yeah, 15. It's 15 it's a 15 inch right display now. and then this is a 14 inch technically corner to corner oh. um 3840 by 1100 display Mm-hmm. And it's even touchscreen, so you can come in here and it's it's nice to be able to just tap on something, especially if you have like OBS open and you need to change a scene and you're in a game, you don't have to worry about alt tabbing. You can just kind of hit it and it'll it'll bring you out and let you access something like that. So it's it's really nice. It it has so so many uses. Such mm-hmm. a little screen and it just I mean, it's a huge screen when you consider the fact that it's the second screen on a laptop. Yeah. I mean, no, we've it's... done, we've done dual display laptops before with the, with our screen pads, but these, these screen pad pluses, it's just, it is just incredible. Right. And it's cool. Cause it just kind of folds down and, and lives there as part of the display. Now is this um, bottom display working as part of the game right now? Yes. So actually, Microsoft Flight Simulator Simulator lets you pop out different tools uh, into their own specific windows, and then you can take them and place them wherever outside of the game. That's really cool. So up top, you can see my navigation just so I can kind of get an idea of where I'm going. And then I just got these, you know, fun new this Hotas uh, set up here, and I'm I'm still learning how to use it to be perfectly honest. <laughs> so I can even put my basic controls down here. So when it's like, hey, you need to, you know, press oh my God, that's awesome. switch number nine to to release your parking brake, I I know where to hit it. Yeah. So, yeah, and then you can you can really pick whatever you need. 
these are just kind of the the standard tools that I, I set up to get myself going on it. But you can you can put just about anything down here, and then your the whole setup, all three screens are your game, your immersive experience. You can stop having to look down in your cockpit at you know this gauge or that. You can just have it here, and instead of pressing a button to look down, mm -hmm. all you need to do is just look down. You just glance down. You see your gauge. You see your you know the altitude, whatever you need, and boom, you're done. Mm -hmm. It's it's such a an immersive experience for me to be able to play any game like that. Um, it's it's the closest thing you can get to VR without making yep. that whole putting something right on your face kind of experience. And and I really like it. And, and and the fact that I can break it down and just slip into a bag, just three screens, just slip into virtually any any laptop bag, all the ones that I have around here, I can just pop it all in and it folds right up, ready to go. Yeah, so about that third screen, though, I don't think we've... So what is we that haven't. third screen? That's... So the third screen up here is our XG17. Um, mm -hmm. Specifically, it's on our tripod stand, which if I fold this down, kind of a mess back here. But it has an actual tripod stand that makes it sit just like a real monitor, a, a normal mm -hmm. desktop monitor. And it's a 1080 uh, P display, and it does, I think this one does 240 hertz gaming, yeah. which is just incredible on a portable display. Mm -hmm. um, USB-C, HDMI, so you can, you can hook it up to pretty much anything you want. Um, it's got a great battery, three, three and a half hours. Uh, you, I don't even have it plugged in right now because I, I wanted, you know, that nice clean look on the stream. So mm -hmm. I didn't want an extra power cable on there. And it's, it's just running off battery. It'll run was... for well past the end of the stream. So even with, uh, I think it's a 7,800 uh, milliamp hour battery, but show yep. us how thin that is. Because I don't think oh, people can it appreciate is, how portable this is. It is razor. Razor. Yeah. Thin. Like, yeah. it is <laughs> only marginally thicker than the screen. Well, you can see. You can see here yeah. like how, how thin this is. Mm -hmm. And that's the like, battery included just... in the device. That's really cool. Yep. Very lightweight. Yeah. Very lightweight. And, and just like any... You know, you, we can move it around. We can raise it up and down, get it right into the position. Boom, it's back mm -hmm. in place. Yep. It takes less than a minute to set up or tear down. So it, it also, including the tripod stand, like all of that just fits right in my laptop bag. I'm just looking at this from, you know, the, the streamer perspective where it's like, okay, <laughs> I want to be able to manage Twitch chat, maybe have a second browser to reference some whatever game I'm doing, you never know. You have notes about something, especially when I was working in uh, esports broadcasting as a commentator, I always had a display for that. And man, that's uh, I, the number of times I had to travel for events and bring my setup to carry around a bulky giant PC. That's really cool. Um, so yeah, that's, that's definitely awesome for gaming. Awesome for this kind of use. This bottom screen, though, I mean, just thinking about using that for something like a, as a creator, working with um, Adobe Premiere, Adobe Photoshop, bringing all your tools, your different swatches on the bottom screen, which is a touch screen. That's really fun. I've actually been toying with that myself. Uh, it's just really nice to be able to just be like, okay, yeah, yes, there are hotkeys for a lot of things, but as as Photoshop, especially if you if you really get deep with Photoshop, there is actually too many tools where the G key is actually going to be the same hotkey as other tools, so you actually have to cycle between yeah. them. So being able to bring that to a second touch screen, it, it really kind of replaces what a Wacom tablet could have been with because I always found found them a little bit too bulky for my taste. Um, and it's just built in right there. So it's super cool. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, I, I can actually, uh, I've been working on some, some drawing and animation projects. I can switch over a little bit later in the stream and, and show off just like how a, and, a, a content creator's workflow might look on mm -hmm. this triple, and, triple screen this, setup. The screen pad plus on the, or the ROG screen pad plus specifically supports a stylus, right? So you can it draw does. on that. It does. Too. Okay. Yeah. So, so I, I can actually, that, that's a big part of what makes this even better than my desktop setup because mm. I, I like to to do all of my stuff on my desktop and I, I draw on a tablet and then I bounce it to my desktop and there's there are always touch-ups there are always mm -hmm. touch-ups that you need to do and that usually means either bouncing it back to the tablet and dealing with you know moving files around that you're in the middle of working on 
or just mm-hmm. trying to use the mouse to try and you know emulate uh, brush strokes, and that doesn't work. But with this, I can just I can just take the the stylus and I'm able to just draw on it, and it just works. It's just incredible. It it really helps having having that because yeah, I don't have to keep bouncing back and forth. It's it's become mm-hmm. easier to work on this than my primary desktop setup, and that blows me away. <laughs> yeah, that's actually wild, and it's a powerful <laughs> machine too. Um, it is. Yeah. The the neat thing about the duo specifically is um, you, you you can't see it from this angle, but the uh, every typical laptops, you know, everybody's familiar with like the thin rubber feet, right? They just keep the system a couple millimeters off the desk so it can draw an air underneath. Um, our our engineers, you know, put their heads to this problem and were like, "What if the screen folded up?" Oh, and it's got um, ventilation. So, yeah. <laughs> So there's actually... I can probably switch back to my other view and, and let's see if we can get a, yeah. a shot of that. Yeah. Because like, oh yeah, you can actually see it. Uh, but yeah, it's like, where where can we get more air? And the answer is under the screen. So the... Um, I'm going I'm to is... see if this angle works. Oh God, you can kind of see it right in between yeah. here. Yeah. So the... <laughs> I'm so jealous, guys. You got... <laughs> Both got duos, we're dual wielding like... duos <laughs> <laughs> and i'm like i'm like yeah but no you can actually see right in there like yeah. that's that's a lot of space to get that airflow uh-huh. and it's it's pulling from the top whereas normally if you have intakes on the bottom because uh-huh. it's sitting on a desktop it's going to be you know the hot air is just going to kind of stay there and and blow out when it can uh-huh. but all the air up here, it, it's cool. It's like the ambient temperature of the room. Right. So it's able to pull that in and cool off your CPU and your GPU so that it's not burning my hand when it's been <laughs> it's, running it's, flight it's, simulators. It's surprisingly for the last half cool. Hour. Yeah, yeah, that's. We can, yeah. We can but hear it but a here's, bit. here's my favorite part. Here is my favorite, favorite part. Look at that. Watch that. So smooth. Look at that. <laughs> it's an amazing device. So smooth. Yeah. It's, it's absolutely beautiful. It's, it's mm-hmm. an amazing, wonderful device. Because and we've played with that sort of concept before. Um, I think our current uh, Zephyrus S15 has the active aer- aerodynamic system uh, beneath, which lifts the laptop off the desk a little bit, opens a vent where air can come yep. in underneath. But nothing like this, this before. Uh, it's it's a really cool setup. You know, this is our fourth fourth episode of RG Pulse, and I think the thing I'm loving the most about it is just getting to A, play with these devices, and B, learn more about them. <laughs> um, and, you know, I haven't got to play with the XG17 yet, I, and I don't even, this, I don't know the answer to this. We definitely didn't answer it. Can you use that with a phone? Could I use my phone as the device and then use that as the display? Yes, I can tell you, you absolutely can. Um, I have the ROG Phone 2, and of, of course, I left it in the other room. Um, but no, you can actually hook that up to the ROG Phone or or any other phone that takes USB-C and, and does video output over it. Um, and I, I like to sometimes get on, uh, I play Call of Duty Mobile, and it feels like I'm almost playing like on on a console. Because I just I just and, have that's, it in my hand don't, and I'm looking at a screen. Don't bring it down to console level. That's 220. Uh, no, no, 240 hertz. No, like of that's, course. No. It's, <laughs> yeah. Well, if if Call of Duty Mobile played fast, well, fair, 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 60 yeah. frames a second. Okay, but so you're, no, you're being a console absolutely. gamer. You're right. <laughs> so no, it it but it feels like it, and as opposed to staring at a screen where you, where your hands are, your thumbs are covering part of it that takes something away from it. But when you're able to just forget about the fact you're holding a phone, it just becomes a controller, whether, you know, you yeah. plenty of people play with yeah. controllers on PCs, consoles, and it just, it works. It feels natural. It has the, the air triggers. And mm-hmm. so it's just like, I left trigger to aim, right trigger to fire. And I, I feel yep. like I'm playing on, on a PC, on a console. It's, it's amazing. Um, it's probably, these two things are probably my favorite two products that I've gotten to play with um, since uh-huh. I started here. Because as as Jeff can can tell you, every time there's an interesting display or something, I'm like, can I can I play with that one? Yeah. That's the one I want to play. <laughs> I, I played with our yeah. ZenBook Duo, which was kind of the sister predecessor to the Zephyrus Duo. Okay. 
Okay. And it, it had um, the, the original ScreenPad Plus on it. Uh -huh. And it, it was the first dual display, you know, with, with a full width display that we had uh -huh. produced. And it was like, oh, this is so much fun. And then when this one came out, yeah. it's like, it lifts up like the, the angles. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is, this is a game. This is a gaming machine. That's, yeah. that's what I'm here for. A gaming machine that Literally, I can just yeah. fold up, Literally, take with me. <laughs> literal game changer. Literal <clears throat> game changer. Um, okay. So Twitch, we, we unfortunately do not have any updates on stock for you for the 3080s. And trust me, I want to know as bad as you do because I'm eager to get my hands on one as well. Uh, but yeah. unfortunately, we don't have yeah. any news for you on that front yet. I, I'm hoping the answer is soon. Um, but it's it's really, it's just, when it comes to this across the board everywhere, it's just chaotic right now. There's no better way mm -hmm. to put it is, um, yeah. But I, I like we we haven't even gotten them like no we yeah are all, we're all all three, three of us are eagerly all of us, awaiting yeah you know you're playing flight sim right now and I told myself I'm not gonna play it until I get a 3080 because I know a 3080 is gonna push the game a lot farther than a 2080 I don't have a 2080 Ti so although this <laughs> but, Zephyrus Duo has a 2080 Super in it so I'm like yeah I'm very curious about I haven't tried playing flight sim I'm gonna install it tonight I think. I, I don't know. I, I mean, Squadrons is coming up. I, yeah, that's I'm true. honestly going to retire Flight Sim for It was only a year to hold me over until Squadrons <laughs> got here. If I'm being perfectly honest. If I'm being honest. 30, 3090 is the same deal. I need it as well, Knock. Don't worry. Um, so, yeah, we've talked a little bit about gaming. We've talked about like what productivity can look like, and I think Chris is actually going to fire up. Are you using After Effects? I'm not actually, uh, for this particular project, I'm using Photoshop and Adobe Character Animator. They, they work together really well because the, the puppet files that Character Animator uses... Oh, yeah, let me switch back over. I think we're ready to look here. Um, but the, it uses Photoshop files, just regular PSDs. And what's nice is... You can actually see my guys talking. It's picking me up on the microphone. <laughs> That's oh, amazing. Zip flaps. <laughs> um, but no, if, if I make a change, like, let's say uh, this guy, like, maybe his eyebrows are too low and I need to come in here and let's, let's just take those, raise them up a bit. He's real excited. Save that. And boom, he's, huh. they, they've raised up here. So it, it's the kind of thing where I, a lot of times I need to come in and tweak something on, on the character here to make it look right up here. And because I can just instant, I can already have Photoshop open, make the change here, see it. As soon as I click up here, it just makes my workflow so fast. And I'll usually have like my files and stuff down here. But what I can also do is the, the Duo has software built into it for managing your screens or managing your windows between screens. Mm -hmm. So I can take it and uh, I covered over it wrong. But uh, you can actually pick it up and you hover over the icon and it's going to drag it over this whole these two yeah. screens and then let's say i need to add some brush strokes in somewhere i can you get more real estate look at that yeah now well, it helps if i if i have the right uh layers selected <laughs> where did my layers go oh they moved that's why on the background but i can i can come in here and make, you know, brush strokes with this that I couldn't do, yeah. like with my mouse. I just, I kind of have to, to play with it. But this, this is what I was talking about. I can go in and make changes on here without having to bounce it back to another device, another tablet that's specifically designed for drawing. This screen does do drawing. If I, if I wanted to, I can do a whole drawing just using this screen. It's, it's not mm -hmm. the form factor that I like for drawing, but it absolutely works. And there are times where once I'm already into a project, I need, I, I don't want to break away and go back. So I'll just spend a half hour just doing touch-ups using mm -hmm. the duo. And it saves me probably, it's a task that would probably take an hour to do otherwise if I have to bounce it around yeah. and, and play with my files and stuff. So it, 
it really for for creativity it's just invaluable and i i can take away this top screen and then i have you know i can do these same things because i can just bring this down here and have photoshop down here and just run it back and forth on dual screens it what i can't do is do it on a single screen i i just won't like i've tried it's just it ruins my flow like i get into mm -hmm. a certain state and as long as everything can keep rolling at the pace that i am I, I can keep working all night but when i'm i'm struggling or i'm fighting with something it's just like i i don't even want to try <laughs> to do it i have i hate having to bounce back and forth between windows mm -hmm. Which is why I'm a guy that's like, hey, I want all the screens I can get my hands on, no matter mm -hmm. where I am. And that's why, mm -hmm. honestly, hands down, this setup here is the best for that. If, if you want a lot of screens like me, you also want a lot of power, you want portability. That's the key thing. It there. doesn't get any better. It's than just, that. Yeah. yeah, it's the portability it is doesn't. unmatched. I can't think of anything like that where you have the options to just be able to have that on the go. Because, I mean, not everybody's like this, but for me, I need to shake it up every once in a while, put myself in a different mm -hmm. setting. And, you know, I don't know how many people are going to coffee shops and working on their laptop right now just because of everything going on in the world. But still that option is there you're going to your parents for the holidays if or you're in college and you're bouncing between your dorm and home you've got that you don't have to worry about a desktop it, it's pretty pretty fantastic and i mean how many normal laptop displays um well i guess some are touchscreen but do they work in this kind of instance where it's angle that that angle looks particularly nice for drawing on it, it really is. And I, I'd actually prop my, my tablet up at an angle very similar to this. I love how your so eyes are split feels... between the two displays. <laughs> oh, by the way, it's just perfect. <laughs> I got my eyes on you, man. No matter where, where you're at. I guess he's, so. He's following you. He's following you. <laughs> but yeah, I, I can just go in and, and just, I can doodle without having to fumble with another device. And that's yeah. just right. so important for, for creativity. So this is, yeah, a lot of fun. A lot of fun. I, I feel like I, my productivity has actually increased significantly since I got it. I've just been mm -hmm. cool. wanting to do more because I can do more. Mm -hmm. I think you were telling us um, about how you even took this out on your back deck and played Flight Simulator. Oh, yeah, man. It's, so it's, I live in Indiana. Uh, Jeff also lives in Indiana, yes. a little bit further north. But mm -hmm. fall, it's, it's finally hit this past week, like really hit. So we got nice crisp air. You know, the leaves are out, changing, falling. And so I like to be outside whenever I can. And I can take this whole setup. What kind right of gamer here, are you? Seeing it. I'm the kind of gamer <laughs> I know. that, I'm, that I'm, I'm needs kidding. the game no I'm matter kidding. where I am. Yo, there Shit. you go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> That's that. Yeah. But uh, oh, man, I lost my train. So no, you... I can take this whole setup. And, and set it on a tiny desk or table. Um, I have a little table outside with, with some chairs. And yeah, I can, I can fit. Um, I, it was just before I got these flight sticks, but I, I had a smaller one. But yeah, I can fit that whole setup. And I, I spent a good hour just flying around, feeling the wind in my face, just the cool yeah. fall air. And it was really nice. It, it felt mm -hmm. good to be able to game outside. And this is not the kind of setup that if you told me even two years ago, it's like, Chris, would you take three monitors, three displays outside and try and play a game on them? I'd say, yeah. find me three <laughs> displays I can take outside and actually game on. And then yes, but you're not gonna find that. Yeah. So it's, all it's right. nice. It's it's good to be living in the future. You're 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 <laughs> really putting this awful idea in my head. We're actually launching a, a new show tomorrow on this channel. I'll be doing live streams on it's called ROG Live, where we just play video games for a few hours, hang out, and basically take some of our hardware for a spin and seeing how far we can push it while playing games. So now I'm in this you're talking about this great <laughs> fall weather, which it is. I've got a fire pit out back. I'm thinking, oh. like, find a chilly day, get the fire pit going, plop down a folding, you know, desk with a Zephyrus Duo and, you know, the RTX noise canceling and yeah. get the crackle of the fire going and just play video games outside. That I'm, sounds perfect. It's the dream. Do I want That's it? The dream. I, I don't have a fire pit. I got That's, a long enough Ethernet man, cable to, to make that work. Um, 
We're going to do an outdoor nature stream. That is the mark stream. of a true gamer. He's like, no, I mean, I'm going to be out from the house, but Wi-Fi. No, no, I, no, I mean, that. Wi-Fi can. I need the hardwire. It, not, yes. not to say Wi-Fi it can. can't no, be absolutely. good. Absolutely. It can absolutely. be good. But if, I, if I've if i got a long enough Ethernet cable, I'm going to use it just because streaming does Always. use a lot of bandwidth. Um, mm-hmm. But, you, you know, it's... I've, I've, should I do that for Halloween? Is that too spooky to be like out in the woods playing a oh. spooky game? <laughs> like, if, if you can pull it off, I'll go out on my back deck. We'll we'll all do this. Let's let's do it. Just have a an ROG spooky stream, outdoor spooky stream. I'm promising weird things on the internet, and this is uh, well, we're committed now, boys. <laughs> the internet never forgets, Jake. <laughs> never forgets. But yeah, so you know, just speaking about things to come, we I am going to be playing Star Wars Squadrons on stream tomorrow at 4 p.m. Eastern, 1 p.m. Pacific. That's going to be a lot of fun. And we are currently talking about the Zephyrus duo. We've talked about some cool things about how the screen pops up. Well, we're actually going to on a future episode completely dissect it and just talk about mm-hmm. how yeah. this is engineered, how we you know some of the the things we had to create specifically to make this lower screen work the way it works. And just going deep with our, that'll be our first teardown we've ever done here on RG Pulse. Mm-hmm. So wait, wait, we're not taking mine apart, are we? No, no, don't worry, Chris. <laughs> okay, good. Like, I'm not, I, you'll pry it from my cold dead face. <laughs> <laughs> this, that's how much I love this thing. Mm-hmm. So are we, we going to take yours apart, Jake? No, no, we'll, no, we'll get, a, we'll get another one. one yeah, in. yeah, yeah. Well, no, we'll be actually. This yeah. one's been approved to tear down. <laughs> We don't have to take it probably, from, from yeah, anybody. We probably got a sacrificial unit at headquarters. Yeah, they, there's always one. <laughs> there's always one? Yeah. It's for a, science, man. You've, you've got to be able to dissect a product, a laptop. Yeah. Yeah, even if your current laptop doesn't have a secondary display, and to be fair, not many do, the uh, full width, I don't, full width uh, ScreenPad Plus there is, you, if you don't have a ZenBook Duo or Pro Duo, rather, um, well, both are true, uh, and or the, the Duo 15, the um, the XG17 is still a great way to add, like a again, it's a portable secondary gaming display, 240 hertz adaptive sync, um, IPS. Uh, it, it's just as good as the displays in most premium gaming laptops. So it's the perfect match if you're like, okay, and you can see again, like Chris has his above the screen there. And I played with this at the last CES. And it's just like. It, it just transforms the portable gaming experience. It's like you can play on that display and, um, you know, put your Twitch chat on your main laptop display or anything else you want down there. This um, is this is what I want to see. It's got a tripod. So, and yeah, from the angle we could see before, it looked almost like it was just part of the other device. But yeah, right. Yeah, it's actually just like a, a normal stand here. And you just move that and it'll extend all the way up. That's That's high enough to fit over pretty much any laptop that i have mm-hmm. and yeah. it comes off of the stand so easy so it's got two mm-hmm. two little tabs here i just squeeze and then it comes apart mm-hmm. and then now you can really that's yeah. when it's just like it's it's razor thin like yeah. sitting on top of this like that's three displays yep that's crazy that's three displays yep. right there mm-hmm and from there, we've also got the, the smart cover mm-hmm. that attaches to it. Yeah, because if and you want, you can put it next to the system, too. Yeah. If you prefer yeah. side-by-side setup. It just it, it folds up just like you'd expect. And then if you don't have a giant flight stick in the way, <laughs> you can just set it, match the angle. Oh, display, <laughs> come on. Over. Oops. You knock it over and then it's not going to work. <laughs> but thankfully, it's got magnets and it just clips right back in. Nice. Yep. But yeah, you can. That's cool. Match the angle, mm-hmm. and then you've got a perfect side-by-side display. Let me see if it looks good on the other camera. That's yeah, over a little. It's a little, yeah, it's a little out of frame. Oh, a little out of frame. That. We just scoop that. Bring it all over. over. Get Bring it all over. Away. Praise giant desk mats. <laughs> but yeah, you can just. Get that angle right, and and I'll also take it outside uh, like this because it'll fit just side by side on my on my uh, little table out there. 
and that's that's how I use it a lot of times for for productivity. It's nice to have the the side monitor because that's how my it's I'm, just what I'm used to working on on my desktop. I, I look at that and I'm like I, I can't believe how bad I want it because I I don't even own a tablet and I don't want to own a tablet because my phone does what I need it to do. But every once in a while, especially when I used to fly a lot, having that to just plug in to watch movies on because I you know I never watch the movies on flights personally. I always just download mm -hmm. movies on my phone and put yeah. my phone up and watch it there. But that would be amazing for that. And what I'm also seeing is it's a nice size display where it would fit beautifully under, again, if I show my setup here, I like to have Twitch chat right here. And I oftentimes put a laptop below my my main display just to get that, that Twitch chat right here. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, that's really cool. So there's a lot of flexibility with that really cool stuff. I want one, mm -hmm. make it happen. <laughs> it's looking at you jeff yeah we'll, we'll we'll make the necessary arrangements Ooh, it's official uh, and the other That's nice thing about done. this yeah and the, the other nice thing is um the tripod is not proprietary you can actually use the tripod itself as a tripod with your camera it has a standard oh, uh, nice. tripod socket on the end of it so it's like that's another thing if you're a mobile photographer and you don't want to uh carry another thing you can just put your camera on top of that and the monitor itself. Oh yeah. It folds up real nice. Again, I'm, I'm thinking That's... about as a streamer, you just have an attachment that holds your cell phone and you turn your cell phone mm -hmm. into a webcam. Bam. Mm -hmm. That's yep. you can do yep. that. And, um, the, uh, tripod socket or the, yeah, the socket on the back of the XG 17 is also standard. I think it's a three eighths inch thread. So, um, yeah, you can just, got, if it's screwed in right now, but it's just a typical, yeah, uh, it's a really nice. Yeah, I mean, uh, the tripod's really nice, but if you if you need to mount it somewhere else for some reason, like it's all st industry standard, and you can just uh, put all these uh, parts together and just build the setup the way you want it. It works just like that. I love. I just love how quick it is to to set mm -hmm. up and fold up. It's it's literally yeah. thirty seconds to a minute, if if even that. Yeah. To mm -hmm. just bust it out. Yeah. And. And that's the thing, like, I, I like to work around the house because, you know, mm -hmm. I, I work from home and sometimes I don't want to be in my office all the time. Yeah. And it's it's just trivial, regardless of what laptop I have, to just grab this screen, take it downstairs. And it's like, I, I can mm -hmm. do my do my typical work, which is usually on two, at least two displays. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's it's just trivial to take it anywhere. Um, I'm actually mm -hmm. going to be traveling in a couple of weeks. And uh, sadly, I'm not going to be taking the, the Zephyrus Duo with me uh, just because I need to get some hands-on time with our S15, which is another powerful gaming laptop. Yeah. Yeah. But I Tragic. can't sacrifice Tragic to have a, another screen. glorious device to use. <laughs> oh, it's a hard life. It's a hard life. But uh, so, no, I'm, I'm actually, I'm definitely going to be throwing the XG17 in the bag with me yeah. because I need dual displays everywhere mm -hmm. so that's mm -hmm. that's no matter what laptop no matter what yeah. device yeah it's it's gonna be with me um chat yeah, we can it, take we can take some questions while we while we ramble here um during our during our rg pulse and you know i actually do have a question right now how large is the battery on the xg17 7800 how do you pronounce that Maz milliamp hours Milligamp hours. Milligamp hours. Yep. But can I say Maz? Am I wrong? I don't. I've never heard. I don't think so. A person <laughs> referred to it that way. So I, ask chat, and I bet they'll tell you mm. the internet's opinion on pronouncing something differently. Yeah, I say the word GIF, and the internet will let me know about that. Yeah, you're so. wrong. <laughs> you know, I think we could probably spend a whole whole pulse episode on that that debate right there. It's GIF. So I'm not going to get Final. into it here. We're gonna. <laughs> the creator yeah. said GIF, so that's that's where that's, I, yeah, that's a hill that's, I'll die on. <laughs> Moving no, it, on, yeah, it's it's uh, it's seventy eight hundred milliamp hours. Uh, there's a dedicated Type C port for charging it. Mm -hmm. So you, if you're using it and you need to charge it, because Chris, I don't know. Um, I it, frankly it escapes me, but I don't know if the laptop can power the device. I don't think it pulls power from that Type C. Port. It does not pull uh, power yeah. from from the laptop. But yeah, you can um, you, you can charge it. That second, we we split out charging and display uh, functionality into separate ports so that you can charge it while you're using it. And there's also <laughs> a I think it's a mini HDMI. Don't quote me on this. Micro, micro, micro HDMI. Yeah. Um, 
it's so easy to screw up. Uh, but yeah, there's a, there's a micro HDMI uh, port on there too. So if your device doesn't mm -hmm. uh, have uh, display port alternate mode over type C, uh, you can also hook up HDMI devices like console. Um, mm -hmm. like you can just put this on top of a console, carry your console around with it. Um, yeah, it, it fits on top of, a, of an Xbox One pretty well like this. Oh, mm -hmm. nice. Actually, I've got one here. Wow, <laughs> land parties just got so much this. easier. This just happened to be here. Yeah. Let's... Oh yeah, look at that. Everything's scooting on down. Uh, just yeah, another quick question is, um, is there a place where we can oh, submit no, pics of our builds based around ROG gear? Um, you could tweet them at us. At just yeah, we do. Yeah, we do keep an eye out for those on Instagram, on Twitter. Just tag. Um, I think uh, it's Asus underscore ROG NA. Yep. Something like that. Also look for the Asus PC DIY group on Facebook. Yeah. Uh, that's a really active community. Uh, JJ does a really good job. Uh, he's mm -hmm. he's always looking out at the the build picks. Um, I, I mm -hmm. share some some picks in there sometimes of what I've got going on here and uh, a mm -hmm. lot of other people sharing theirs. Yeah, so definitely. Definitely drop them in there. And we'd love Instagram, to see it. Twitter. Yeah, we'd love to see it. Uh, you might even get a retweet. Or a repost out of it. And I mean, there's yeah. um, there's a battle station subreddit as well. That's just another cool place to show yeah. off your gear. I, I see a lot of cool ROG setups there and just setups in general. So mm -hmm. another cool place. But yeah, one of the um, one of the things that we talked about with the XG17, I think, is if you know you're a professional gamer, uh, like a fighting game player or something, and you like to do exhibition matches with your fans at like a trade. Well, I mean, not right now, obviously, unfortunately. But <laughs> if, you know, if if you like going to um, events like PAX and you want to play with people, you can just carry around. A, you can even, I mean, you can just throw this in a backpack with a console and just set it up anywhere. Uh, you can find a power plug. That's so and, easy yeah. and so incredible. Like, yeah. Okay, again, I, I got to talk you about need a tripod. just like the yeah. struggles of, of my youth. Even Just 10 years ago, um, MLG events, like bringing your stuff to those, <laughs> e everybody would bring yep. their stuff to practice in their hotel room, but the Xbox kids that played Halo, like, you know, they're lugging around these bulky systems. Sometimes people would bring CRTs. I don't, they must've oh, drove wow. like, yeah, it was just crazy. Some of the things you'd see in the hotels there. Um, but now, mm -hmm. yeah, infinitely easier. Yeah. Cause I don't way easier. I don't remember right off the top of my head how much this thing weighs, but what struck me about it when I handled it at CES, like the entire thing, it does not add nearly any weight to your bag. So no. if, if you're a lightweight traveler, this just, you know, you won't feel it. Trying to find the weight. 2.3 uh, yeah, pounds. 2.3 pounds. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. And only 0. 0.4 inches thin. Like yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. That's nice that's just nice mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. my thinnest monitor my desk thinnest desktop monitor is at least yeah i'd say at least twice that almost yeah there are no fun the, it, yeah the amount of time i moved a, a, even a 24 inch lcd from college storm to home and back again it's like i don't ever want to do that ever again nope and nope and and trying to transport a monitor, especially because I, I used to do a lot of LAN party stuff. Um, I helped organize a lot of LANs here in Indiana, uh, Indiana University. Mm -hmm. And I hate carrying around a monitor because yeah, it's fragile. It's easy to scratch them up. Like I, I oh, usually yeah. have it like in the front seat of my car, yeah. strapped in with the seat belt so it can't move. But like I'm I'm not as scared about my my rig. Like it's it's a big hunk of metal and everything's really secured in there. And yeah. if, if the case gets scratched, then, Oh no, I have to buy a new case. Yeah. Cause I want it pretty, it's, it's usually an <laughs> battle, excuse. Battle scars, but, Chris. Exactly. But you scratch the screen Yeah. and that's what you're staring at all day. Yeah. So it's like, I'm, 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 I'm terrified of that, but just being yeah. able to like, just flip around the smart cover. <laughs> Helps if I have it on there. But no, the nice little smart cover. It's on, yep. it's protected. Cool. It just slips into a bag. Like the only thing you got this little guy here just for your uh, yep. tripod adapter. But like that, that just slips mm -hmm. right into any bag. Mm -hmm. It's it's amazing. Yep. It's 
one of my favorite, like I said, one of my favorite products that I've gotten to play with uh, since I joined the team here uh, last year, early last year. Yeah. Um, just another update, chat. We, we unfortunately don't have any updates on the 360 hertz monitors or the 3080s, um, but soon TM. Everybody wants their new shiny toys. I, I can't yeah. wait to get my hands on both of those things. A 360 hertz display. Yeah. I've talked about this on, on other episodes of Pulse <laughs> where I've played in 144, right? I use 144 mm -hmm. at 4K here. Um, mm -hmm. And that's, you know, impressive to try to even hit 4K 144. But uh, mm -hmm. yeah, 360 is going to be insane. I can't wait. Mm -hmm. I can't wait. This and what's funny is this is the only 240 display, 40 hertz display I have in my house of of all of my monitors. I know uh, 144 is the highest. That's crazy that so you have a like, 240. That's yeah. just so like this, this little guy, portable beast. Like, yeah, like I I need to just start gaming on it more. Even on my desktop, I'm like, man, do I do I just want to play on my laptop with 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 that so I can I can get the extra frames? Oh. Like it it doesn't make me toys. that much better at Rocket League, but it makes me feel it, like i'm that much better, better at a game like rocket league yeah. <laughs> when i'm playing at higher frames <laughs> yeah yeah well i, I unless we yeah. got any other questions from chat you guys think, got any final thoughts no i um, think um again, more displays like, is it, better yeah and <laughs> um again it, it's really interesting to think even five years ago like even the idea of a dual screen laptop seemed crazy um absolutely it still seems crazy because like, like you look yeah. at this and it's like wow it's the future guys we made it yeah um so yeah i mean and it, it's you know it's dual displays now and again if you want three displays like chris you can get next g17 and throw it in your laptop bag and it's just yeah it, it's good it's to amazing. Live in the future. <laughs> it really is it really is no i i share that sentiment it's like i said i've since that first time, that first CRT next to another CRT, mm -hmm. I knew that multiple displays is just the only way to really be productive the way I want to be. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm always looking at, you know, I always have too many monitors around the house. Last time I moved, I think I gave away or, or got rid of like half a dozen of them at least. Mm. Um, so I'm, I'm always excited about, any chance I have to use more monitors, especially when I'm away from my desk, because when you always have to have dual displays to work, mm -hmm. then the only place you can work is your desk. Yep. I, I've At actually, that was the case. We've got a great, a great question in chat because you guys oh, might have great. more insight on this. I have no experience. Ultra wide monitors versus multi-display. Have you guys used an ultra wide as your daily driver before? Oh man! Why not both? Yeah, I have an ultra. <laughs> I have an ultra wide as my main display that I'm looking at, and then I have a regular wide screen next to it. Um, mm -hmm. But I, I have considered the idea of a super ultra wide display, mm -hmm. one of our big 49 inch yeah. giant displays. Um, that I, I I would be interested. Um, but yeah, I, yeah, I think I, unless you're going that big, I think yeah. both is yep. the answer. Yeah. No, I was going to say, I think it, it, it depends on what you're trying to do. Because um, there's so many display options and so many like different parameters that you need to consider, like panel type, uh, like VA versus IPS, refresh rates, um, stuff like that. And we've, we've talked about this a bit. Um, but if if there is an ultra wide that fits all of your needs, I mean, I don't think you can go wrong either way. Uh, some people don't like curved displays. Um, like most of our ultra wides are curved, so that you have a more comfortable viewing experience. But if you don't like that, um, certainly that's a reason to consider multiple flat screens. Um, if you want, you know, it's like we, Chris said, you know, we make a forty nine inch ultra wide now, so it's like you can feel fill your entire uh, field of vision with a single monitor if you want. But if, again, if the other parameters don't match up, like we also offer ways for you to blend like three separate displays, like for a driver's cockpit mm -hmm. or a, a really serious. See, uh, that sounds cool. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. you can, you, we, even, we even make a the ROG bezel free kit. If you look that up, uh, it actually hide, it, it bends light and it, it uses black bezels. magic yeah. to hide the bezels. <laughs> um, and, it, and it really, yeah, I mean, so, the nice thing about this is you have options. Um, 
And if, if you're really particular about one thing, you can make a setup that works. Um, mm -hmm. and, and something to consider is on one super ultra wide display, you're going to be able to play a lot more games that utilize that whole screen space mm -hmm. as opposed to multiple monitors, especially like I rock a single display with, with a secondary and then I have mm -hmm. my work laptop over here. So I don't have room for three matching monitors. Mm -hmm. So I can only game. I only play on my main ultra wide over here. But are you, so, are you playing in 16 by nine or a different resolution? And when you play in 16 by nine, does it make everything else black or can you utilize that space? I'm very curious because I've never used one. I've been, virtually every single game that I have plays at native resolution, mm. which is, uh, uh, geez, I can't even remember off the top of my head. Uh, yeah, it's there, 3440 by 1440 mm -hmm. that I use and on here. And pretty much every game plays that natively. Nice. Yeah. Uh, and there are driver level technologies if you have an AMD or an NVIDIA graphics card and you have like three separate like 1080p displays, for example. I think NVIDIA calls it surround, AMD calls it iFinity. Uh, they will right. automatically mm -hmm. span that entire uh, canvas into one display mm -hmm. if you do want a multi monitor setup. And you, and you have mm -hmm. three identical monitors so um yeah the, again like we give you options you have options um <laughs> i don't think you can go wrong either way that's that's the joy of pcs gaming yeah. on a pc building a pc building an entire battle station out is that you're, you're right we give you options and you figure out what suits your needs the best and then mm -hmm. you just get to kind of pick it piece it together and create your own battle station the way you want it to and that's mm -hmm. at the end of the day that's what i'd love about pc gaming very specifically is exactly mm -hmm. what you're saying jeff is being able to just find out what suits your needs get it make mm -hmm. it happen and then enjoy the setup yeah. that you've created yep the beauty of being a pc gamer it's what it's all about <laughs> um yeah i mean I, I see it asked again we do not have any updates on on when the 30 80 and 90 are going to be dropped some people in twitch chat are memeing and saying tomorrow but no that is not the case uh i wish yeah. it was i really do we don't we don't have any stock updates for you uh but guys yeah this has been rg pulse we do this every thursday at 10 p.m eastern 7 p.m pacific tomorrow at 4 p.m eastern we're launching rog live playing mm -hmm. star wars squadrons and we're gonna we're gonna squad up yeah I, yeah i'm stoked yeah i don't, I don't think you're gonna hear any of us on chat other than you jake but we're, we're no, gonna be yeah. in jake's ear oh, for you'll, part of it you'll you'll, yeah. you'll, you'll be oh. joining you'll be joining oh okay yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm in i'm in <laughs> you you've seen i'm i am ready yeah to do this yeah. tomorrow <laughs> i am ready to use that that and joystick I, yeah. for squadrons I was like, I, you know, I, I hadn't looked at the trailers or anything. And I, I looked before we started the show. And I'm like, oh, man, this is making the hair stand up on the back of my neck. So I'm really excited. If I get Ooh, to join in. Squatting up. Is it four players or five yeah, players? Awesome. Is it five? I think five players. Five. Okay. Five. We got three. We got, we got three. Yeah. Brian. Brian wants to join in. Four. He was already playing. Easy. Yeah. I think or he's, he's, yeah, he said he's going to be playing yeah. as soon as it launched. Yeah, he tonight. went full VPN status and made himself Australian so that he could start playing in Australia time cheater <laughs> that's, that's, dedication. that's dedication yeah that's dedication. it is it is i'm a little jealous not gonna lie um but yeah lots more coming guys we're gonna be doing a teardown of the zephyrs duo in the near future a lot of fun topics we got some halloween shenanigans planned in the near future um even some game code giveaways in in a future future stream so that's mm -hmm. the kind of fun stuff we're gonna be working with uh you know game developers there's a lot of fun topics we're gonna be exploring across the entire gaming and PC world. So hit that follow button again and uh, check us out on YouTube, Twitch or youtube.com slash Asus ROG. All the VODs exist there and they exist here on Twitch for our past episodes. We did go in and break down some of the cool stuff about the RTX 30 series last week. So check that out. Mm -hmm. And uh, until next time, we'll see you later. GG's.